Hey superstars, welcome back to one of my through the mail autograph videos where I usually doodle a sports ball player and bug them through the mail for an autograph, but today is a little different. A few weeks ago I was watching Beyond Cardboard and the guest was Topps 2020 artist Blake Jameson and an idea popped into my head. Uh, we got a question from Reindeer Studios, his name's Scott, he's also an artist. Uh, he is, uh, he does a lot of doodles and stuff and just amazingly talented guy. And do you know what a TTM is? I like, don't. I was going to ask for clarity on that, but okay. yeah, doodle me. <laughs> uh, so TTM is uh, through the mail autograph. So TTM. Right. Through the mail. So he wants to send you a doodle that he will yeah. create for you to sign and send back to him or keep. I don't, can't remember how Scott does it, but do you have a PO box that he can send that to? Yeah, I do. So, like I said, Blake is one of the artists working for the Topps 2020 project. The uh, 2020 project is really cool because Topps veered away from the photorealistic portraits they've typically used in gallery and opted for some wild and crazy reinterpretations of their most iconic cards. And it's received a ton of attention in the hobby, and most of you already know that. So let's talk about me for a sec. It's all about me, me, me. <laughs> Most artists like myself tend to show pictures of their work on Instagram, but I chose YouTube and the reason for that is that I'm super driven by seeing and showing the process. I'd rather see an artist working in a studio than his or her art hanging in a stuffy gallery. How was it made? What did they use? Where did they have trouble? And what came easy? It also gives people a deeper understanding of what you're about and what you're doing. If you feel like you know the artist, you have a stronger connection to the art. 90 seconds in, and this is getting a little heavy. Sorry. Anyway, Blake shows up on YouTube and he's doing just that. He invites you into his studio and he's open and honest about who, what, when, where, and why. And he's super gracious about it too. He does a live stream every night where he interacts with his fans, lets them get involved, and he shows you how he works and he'll even talk about how his contract with Topps works. It's also very fascinating and he works his tail off. Making content every day is super tough. I know, I tried it for a while, but he's committed to putting himself out there and there and there and everywhere. We've both worked in marketing and we're both disciples of the Gary Vee School of Crushing, but Blake here crushes crushing like, like, I don't know. He gets an A plus in self-promotion 101. And I'm not trying to say he's all marketing and hype either. I genuinely like his art too. We definitely have different styles. If you couldn't tell, he's more into the graffiti look. Blake's work is vibrant and spontaneous and fun. It's super bold and very fire, as the kids say. Okay, so that's what I got for Blake Jameson. I thought it was fun to try to capture his likeness while covering his whole face with the mask there. I think it's pretty rad. Let's see if he likes it. He shot me a message on Instagram letting me know that he loved it, so I'm excited to see some ink on this. Whoa, nice. Who needs blue Sharpies when you got big fancy gold markers? That is fantastic. I love it. He threw in some of his business cards. We got LeBron, nice. I think that's Brandon Cooks and Joe Montagna. Uh, Blake often splatter paints on baseball cards and gives them out to fans. Pretty cool, Josh Bell. These are great, and this this is what it's all about. Thank you so much, Blake. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, straight fire, yo. Let's go. Let's go.